I've been working with one teacher at Avery's Creek Elementary. This is the third year. And I went last month. They decided as a parent team to fund feast classes for the rest awesome. of the year for all of third grade. Isn't that great? Oh great. my gosh. Great. So Kate's been doing these classes for free. That's great. And so this is what happened. Just like that, and then you can pull the rest of the white stuff out, and that way you don't have to try to cut it at all, and then you can cut it, dice it up. This we can use. We'll compost that. Hey, you want to set your stuff there and we'll get your hands washed? We spend a lot of time talking about food and discussing what we ate or what we made or a different thing that we did with food. And we were on a run one day. There's a lot of different times that it happened, but the main one that sticks in my mind is we were running around the neighborhood and we were talking about it and how this is such a normal thing for us, but it's not a normal thing for other people because they just don't know how or they don't know how to fit it into their schedule or they don't know what to do with food. So we started talking about um, ways to help educate people or teach people how to use food. I feel like feast is the perfect marriage of my skills and Kate's skills. And that is cooking classes that are hands-on, using fresh, in many cases, local ingredients, um, most of the time seasonal ingredients, um, and working with people who wouldn't necessarily get the chance to have this kind of experience otherwise. So we decided to look into starting a program that really focused on making good choices around food and really basic simple things that it doesn't have to be a culinary experience that you're doing. It can just be cooking and eating well. So remember to do instead of just chopping at it, and you keep it, and you just rock it, keep it on the ground, ground them in half, So feast really is fresh, easy, affordable, sustainable, and tasty, and it's it's something that I'm passionate about and excited about and hopeful that we can um, hopeful that we can expand the program to more and more communities and more and more people because if you've ever been to a feast class you know that it is affecting people and it's helping people get a spoon The classes that we do with younger kids, we end up going into groups that are already meeting. So we go into schools that are, the teachers are there, they already have a classroom of students who are there. An after school program that students are already coming to. So we add enrichment to already existing activities or schools. And we have a captive audience and we don't have to try to convince people that they want to come to us, we go to them, and it's easy kind of for them. The technique that we used when we were doing the homemade tortillas. So you're going to roll it, and so it's even among the whole thing. You don't want it super skinny in one part and really fat in another part. So pay attention and take your time when you're rolling it out. Also make sure that you are keeping your hands clean if you are touching things. If you have long hair, you need to pull it back. If you do any healthy food is our is our motivation, um, but but it's interesting because um, because it has so much impact in so many different realms. It's not just about food. Um, I mean, nothing's ever about just one thing, but, um, but it's about 
you know, working with your community and um, and working with what you have on hand, that's a big piece of feast, is using what you have. I got an email from the owners of Mother Earth Produce. They were starting a business here and she said, "We, I found your website and we love what you're doing and we would love to partner with you and give you any excess produce that we have and donate it to your program to be used. And so now I get a weekly donation from them and I pick it up every Wednesday. I don't know what I'm getting until I get there and then we plan the menus and the classes based on that. So today I have class at 5.15 tonight and I won't know what kind of produce I have until 12.30 and then I'll get home and create a recipe based on what we have or just bring it and say, hey, here's a box of food, what should we make? And you know, the kids with the I Have a Dream program who have been doing this for four years, I can do that now. I can have rice, pasta, potatoes, some you know variety of starches or breads or something and a bunch of vegetables and some seasonings and they can create a meal based on what I have where they're starting to look at it and go oh let's make you know an Italian pasta dish or let's make stir fry or let's make an egg dish or something or let's make soup and they can look at the food that I brought and they can decide what to make. I would love I would love it to be an organization that is working with a lot of different members of the community where we have anytime somebody says I would love for you to do a feast class in our group whatever it is that we could say yeah we can do that we can make that happen we can come and we can provide these classes and we can figure out ways to fund it. We can figure out ways to get all of the food and supplies and we have the whole structure laid out. It would be wonderful if it was a regional program beyond, um, beyond Buncombe County and beyond this area. I would love that. And I think that, um, you know, it's needed, it's needed everywhere. Because it used to be when I'd start in classes and what is that and they'd have no idea what these things are and then I went into a kindergarten class last week and I'm bringing out all the vegetables and kids couldn't sit still do you have kale again did you bring kale again and I pulled the kale out and they cheered these are kindergartners who were cheering because I had a bunch of kale and they ate it raw with nothing on it they just picked the leaves off and ate it and they love it which, when I was in kindergarten, I'd, I would never have done that. I, I wouldn't even have known what it was. <laughs>